for joining us tonight. I'm John Garlock. A local sex abuse suspect took the stand in his own defense today. 55-year-old Ken Turner tried to convince jurors that he did not sexually abuse a 17-year-old boy who was living with him at his home in Bloomfield. Defense counsel Curtis Dial led Turner through the events of September 2013 from first meeting the boy at the Milton Fall Festival until he was arrested days later. Turner did not deny that he had given the boy what he called a medical physical, checking him for STDs. Nor did he deny discussing with the boy how to clean his genitals or hitting the boy with a leather hog strap. Turner said that all of these acts, including the whipping, were with the boy's explicit consent. Turner faced a withering cross-examination by Prosecutor Laura Roan. When asked about the supposed full-body physical, Turner said he couldn't recall how the boy ended up naked. I don't know if it was either one of her ideas. I mean, it was just something that happened. It just happened. Is that a yes? That would be a yes. Turner seemed perplexed that Roan or anyone else would find his actions questionable. According to his testimony, all of the contact with the boy was well within the scope of a normal relationship between a 55-year-old man and a 17-year-old boy he had known for a few days before inviting the boy to move into his home. Turner even seemed perplexed that Roan questioned him as to why he was in possession of a leather hog strap. Turner told the jury it was simply an item he had carried in his overnight bag for years.